Today I wanted to share some spring and summer style inspiration for looking chic while it's warm out and you know my favourite part of this entire edit is the fact that all of these items can be mixed and matched for endless outfit opportunities. I'm also really excited to be sharing that I will be partnering with Vivaya on this video. I'm thrilled to be working with them again as you know I love their shoes and I'm going to be talking about their shoes in a little bit more detail very very soon as well as sharing with you a great discount code that you can apply to your next purchase. I wanted to start off strong with an outfit that feels like sunshine to me. It's all down to this oversized yellow knit sweater which is my personal happy color. To maximize my transitional season closet, I've worn it loose with a fuzzy alpaca knit skirt. This gives the outfit a relaxed feel and I've mimicked that casual vibe with my choice of bag. Super comfy with the wide strap too. Now, of course we have to talk about the shoes and I'm so excited about these new styles I've added to my closet from Vivaya. The first being an update to a model I already have. It's called the Jade and the new and improved version is the Juliet. So very, very similar in design. They have that beautiful architectural heel. I will put a photo on screen of what the original Jade mules look like, except these ones don't have the asymmetrical strap across the foot. In addition to that, they've also got another improvement. So they now have instant sweat absorbing insoles which means that your feet aren't going to get hot and sticky when you're wearing these I think that's really brilliant and it's also worth noting because this particular style does have the open mesh design has maximum breathability the other thing is that there is a lot of really lovely cushioning in the insole so they're padded which makes them very comfortable and they're also non-slip so you can actually run in these and they're not going to fall off your feet and trust me I have tried so I could put them to the test and can confirm that this is indeed a fact so absolutely love I would recommend if you have wide feet going up one size from your usual I have these in the 42 so they're a little bit larger than I would normally go but they do work because mules they are open and I think it's nice to have a little bit of extra uh, space at the heel so that your foot isn't hanging out of the shoe. So that is in this beautiful nude mesh, or should I say pale beige mesh. I have to apologize about the changing line. It's very cloudy right now, but I also got the Juliet style in the pink multi crochet, which I just think are so stunning, really, really fun, and a great way to add in this really punchy vibrancy to your outfits, especially if you are more of a neutrals lover like I am. And I will show you some close-ups so you can get a better sense. But they really are just so exquisite, and I love the detail it reminds me a little bit of cross stitch which is something that I used to do with my yaya when I was a kid and something I would love to get back into uh, but I just think they are so well designed and again they have those exact same features the same beautiful architectural heel which is very very comfortable and provides a lot of support in addition to the newly improved Juliet mules Vivaya actually have a number of new styles that have been engineered specifically for those who do have wide feet so I just wanted to highlight that if you are someone who does have have similar foot issues like I do uh, because there are some really great options out there for you which will make you feel really chic and stylish while also feeling very comfortable. Now there are two things about Vivaya that I especially love. The first being that they're an eco-conscious brand. So every single pair of shoes is woven using the yarn from recycled water bottles, which I just think is so cool. And if you're curious to learn a little bit more about this process, I will have some information links down in the description box below because just watching it in action, it's really, really cool to witness. The other thing is that they are ideal if you're someone who has wide feet or bunions like me. I have both of those issues and I have zero complaints when it comes to wearing the Vi shoes because of the fact that every single pair is made with this woven yarn it means that they have flexibility and movement and they really mold to the shape of your foot so it makes them really comfortable and while in some instances you may find they're a little bit snug when you first put them on the fibers relax really really quickly and I found that I haven't had a break-in period with any of their shoes so no blisters at all and I have to say I love a good blister free experience when it comes to shoes. Another detail that is really nice about these shoes is just how lightweight they are and they're really flexible too. I find that their flats in particular are really good traveling companions because they don't take up too much space in your suitcase and they also don't take up much of that precious weight allowance either. Each pair of shoes comes in a recycled cardboard box which can then in turn be recycled and they also use a 
3D design process which allows for minimum wastage throughout manufacturing. Additionally, their shoes are machine washable, so really, really easy to maintain and care for. Great if you have been eyeing one of the lighter color options, but have been a little bit concerned about potentially getting them dirty. As usual, my friends at Vivaya have given me a discount code to share with you. It is MJ15, and that will get you 15% off your purchase. I will have down in the description box links to everything that I'm wearing, along with all of my sizing information and discount code info. So just click show more for more info. Now let's get on to the next outfit. Outfit two is all black with a statement shoe. I love these types of outfits, even in the warmer months. The key is to thinking about texture and how you're creating visual breaks in your outfit. Having that bag across the body adds a nice element of shine and then the knitted loafer in this gorgeous caramel shade adds a focal point and feels balanced against the wider nature or opening of the trouser. The Vivaya shoes that I'm wearing with this look are called the Michelle Pointed Toe Loafers and I absolutely adore these because I think they are the perfect work to weekend shoe. So really, really chic with a pair of work trousers but then equally looks cute with a little mini skirt and an oversized sweater for the weekend. Great thing about these is they do have the deodorizing removable insole so you could just pull that out and throw it in the wash and the key detail for these is that really really lovely contrast bow across the vamp I just think it is so sweet and adds a really nice feminine touch to the silhouette Monochromatic and tonal looks are right up my alley year round and the warm months are the perfect opportunity to opt for those fresh light color combos. I'm wearing high-waisted cotton linen shorts here which I paired with a peplum top this has a point of difference with the elbow length puff sleeves and the scoop neckline and it's a fun way to play with proportions. You can see that I opted to even emulate that color palette with my choice of bag which has white leather trim. Now these shoes here are called the Tamiya Ballet Flat and I think these are just so timeless and classic. I think we all know that ballet flats seem to be having a bit of a moment right now. They are trending, mostly worn in unexpected ways, but I do think that there is a lot of space and room to be wearing them in more of a classic style like I've done here. These particular ones are just so comfortable and I think if you find yourself preferring more of an almond toe or a rounded toe over the pointed toe, the Aria 5s are just such a great shoe, then these would be a really good alternative. The color that I have here is called almond and I do have them half a size up from my usual in 40.5 and it makes them the perfect Fit. I think it's worth noting that these come in so many different colors. So great if you want to add a bit of a vibrant pop to your outfit at your feet. And this particular style is ideal. It's been cut for people who do have wide feet. So I wanted to flag that too. For something a little dressier, I've thought about the fabrications and how they can change the mood of an outfit. Still monochromatic or tonal, but this feels more dramatic and elevated. The top is silk, and despite having a similar empire waist seam, it feels different on. The back is open, but the closure makes it feel quite subtle. And then we have the trousers, which are a linen and tensile blend. This gives them a silky-like texture, which has this air of formality about it. I've also added in some rich texture with my braided woven bag. I've worn the Juliet Mules again, this time in the pink multi-crochet. I think this is such a fun way to add in some color and vibrancy to your outfit, especially if you tend to favor more minimalist outfit combinations. They work so well with neutrals and I just adore that heel detail. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This outfit is one I've worn a few times over the summer here because it just looks so fresh. It's a simple way to add in color, pairing it back with your neutrals. I like that there's a bit of a juxtaposition between the shirt and the shorts. The shorts are soft and slouchy, but in a tailored way. Whereas the shirt should be obviously tailored, yet it's super slouchy and oversized and has a nonchalant feel. I opted to match my accessories so I could stick to the three color rule, a simple trick to have a cohesive outfit that doesn't feel overwhelmed. I've worn Vivaya's Michelle loafers again here. Think holiday vibes, but heading out for dinner. The shirt that could take you from day to night just by switching up the shoes. I feel like this would also be chic with a huge straw bag or a cotton tote and a chunky dad sandal for day. Whereas this is the nighttime equivalent, wearing a teeny tiny bag and my Juliet mules, which proving again here how leg lengthening they are in this nude oatmeal color. For a cooler transitional season day, I really adore these types of ladylike outfits. 
collarless jackets in this full or crop length are quite on trend right now and they have this old world feel to them. I decided to lean into the femininity of it with the skirt which flows beautifully and worn with the Juliet mules in the nude again. A flat shoe like the Tamiya or Aria 5 would also work here. The unexpected element is the bag which has a scallop shape to it in a bucket style. Okay, who doesn't love a matching set? When it's hot, it takes all the guesswork out of getting dressed and is so effortless and easy. I especially love this one, which I also have in the black linen too. I wanted to lean into the earthy tones of the set, so I wore my Misubi bag here, which pairs perfectly. For a day of running errands, I'd likely opt for a sneaker, and I have to say, the Vias sneakers are so comfortable. So these shoes are called the V-Prime, and I'm not kidding when I say they're super comfortable, and hopefully you can get a good look at them here because the sunlight's doing all sorts of funny things to my lighting, but I, I just absolutely adore these. Again, I did go up a full size, so I've got them in the 41, and they are a perfect fit. I really like that they are cut really wide across the toe, so really perfect for someone who does have a wider foot like me. I feel like I've got quite a lot of room in there, especially if I do want to wear these with a really thick pair of socks. Great thing is that they are also water repellent, so if you do get caught in the rain, the rain is just going to bounce off of them, which is absolutely amazing. It means that you don't have to worry at all when you're wearing these shoes. Again, also machine washable and you can also hand wash them as well if you need to spot clean them. This is your classic Parisian style outfit a tee, a mini skirt and trench coat, finish off with a ballet flat. I just had to, you know, because this is one of my go-to autumn or spring looks. It just works every single time and you'll always feel chic. A great way to think about wearing color is to opt for desaturated tones, then you can slowly amp this up as you add in brighter and bolder shades and play around with some really fun tonal outfits. I'm wearing the Tamiya flats again here. I think you can see how versatile they are and they look cute with jeans too. Another dressy option, this time wearing a set with crop top and full flowing skirt and linen. Definitely one of my favorite fabrications for the warmer months because of how comfortable it is to wear and it allows you to get texture into your outfit. I think the shoes and the actual outfit here showcase how a more casual bag can feel glammed up. Essentially, the outfit and the vibe it has is the sum of all its parts. I'm wearing the Juliet Mules to add in that punchy, vibrant element. Another way to wear the V Prime sneakers, this time with the fluid draped trousers. This outfit feels smart enough to wear to a casual office, but still mean business, while being comfortable too. Also a reminder that white and cream can and do go together well, and it comes off looking really bright and fresh. For some extra warmth, I finished the outfit off with a tan shoulder bag. White dresses for the win. Can you sense a the theme here? I'm balancing out the voluminous style of this dress with the slim profile of the mules while thinking about how I can add in texture and depth to avoid things looking flat. A great blazer over the top finishes off this outfit perfectly. My final look has a bit more of a cozy appeal in all dark tones. The knit is super oversized, snuggly, something I like to wear loose or nonchalantly tucked into my skirt. The skirt itself has an A-line silhouette, something I find to be universally flattering, and it also adds a feminine edge. I've worn my beloved mini flats from Vivaya here, which you'll know are one of my most worn pairs of shoes. Having a single block of color creates a long and lean visual line, which has a lengthening effect. Great if you are petite. Again, for warmth, I've added in that saddle brown shoulder bag, which is just the ideal finishing touch. So that was some spring and summer style inspiration for my beautiful Northern Hemisphere friends. I really hope that you got some outfit inspiration and some ideas on how to wear some of the things you have in your closet and also a really good look at some new styles from Vivaya. Don't forget that you can get 15% off your order using the code MJ15. I will have all of that information on screen and down in the description box. Thank you so, so much for spending some of your day with me. I hope that you are having the most beautiful week and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you very soon. Bye!